Hello everyone, welcome to Dennis Simplifies. In this video, we are going to find the equation of a line in C++, but as usual, we are first going to write the algorithm, and we'll use the algorithm to model our code in C++. So, let's simplify. Devise a detailed complete solution to accept pairs of data points x, y as input, and calculate the equation of the line. Your output should be of the form y equals ax plus b, that is the lines of best fit, where a and b are constants. The values of a and b can be obtained using the following relations, a and then b. To the algorithm. From the question, the values of a and b can be obtained using the following relations. That is, the summation of y values, the summation of x values, the summation of the product of x and y values, and the summation of x to the power 2 values. With these, we should be able to find a and b. So we are going to create empty variables that will store these values. So we see summation of y values equals 0. Summation of x values equals 0. Summation of the product of x and y values equals 0. And summation of x squared equals 0. From the question, we are to accept pairs of data points from the user as input. Since the pairs of data points will vary, that is, the x and y values will vary for each input, we want to know from the user how many pairs of data points will be entered. So, we say input number of pairs. From here, we set a for loop. For i equals 1 to i equals number of pairs, step 1, that is, you should run this for loop from 1 to the total number of pairs the user wants to enter. So inside the loop, we ask the user to enter the x data point. So we say input x. Again, we ask the user to enter the y data point. So we say input y. Now, whatever the value the user entered for x, add the value to summation of x. So we say summation of x plus equals x. Again, whatever the value the user entered for y, add that value to summation of y. So we see summation of y plus equals y. Also, whatever the values of x and y were, multiply them and add their value to summation of the product of x and y. So we see summation of xy plus equals x times y. And lastly, whatever the value of x is, we it to the power of 2 and add it to the summation of x squared. So we see summation of x squared plus equals x to the power 2. From here, we end our for loop. So we see n4. So this for loop will continue to run from 1 to the total number of pairs. And each time it runs, the user will be asked to enter x and y data points, which will then in turn be stored in these values or these variables. From here, we can calculate for our b and then for our a. So we see b equals summation of the product of x and y minus summation of x times summation of y all on n, which is the number of pairs all divided by the summation of x squared minus the summation of x to the power of 2 all on the number of pairs. Having b, we can calculate for a. a equals the summation of y minus, the su minus b times the summation of x all on n, which is the number of pairs. From the question, your output should be of the form y equals ax plus b. So we see print y equals the value of a x plus the value of b. Alright guys, we are through with the algorithm. Let's take a look at our code in C++. But before that, I will encourage you to pause the video, give it a like, and subscribe. Very well to our code in C++. I declared the CMAT library for the power function. And inside my int main function, I declared x, y, e, b, 
sum of x, the summation of y, the summation of the product of x and y, and the summation of x squared to be a double. And then I initialize sum summation of x, summation of y, summation of the product of x and y, and the summation of x squared to be zero. And I also declare number of pairs as an integer. See how to enter number of pairs. That is, the computer should display to the user enter number of pairs. See number of pairs. The user should enter an integer value for number of pairs. From here, I set my for loop, which will run from one to the number of pairs times. And each time it runs, the it, it will accept an x and y value or x and y data point and add them to their respective variables. I end my for loop with curly braces. Outside the for loop, I write out the formula for B and then the formula for A. Now, with my A and B, I ask the computer to display Y equals the value of A, X plus the value of B. So Y equals in quotation marks as a string and then X plus in quotation marks as a string. Then the value of A and then the value of B all as doubles. Then system force is greater than zero, which will ensure that only the needed information will be displayed when I run my code and then return zero by custom. So now I'm going to input values for number of pairs, x and y, and then we will see how our code will run. It displays enter number of pairs. I entered three, meaning I'll be entering x and y three times, which are negative seven, one, five, eight, negative three, and then negative six. And on pressing enter via my keyboard, it says the line of best fit is, y equals 5.8x plus 2.89. You can test these values on your calculator as well, and you'll notice our code is running properly. Alright guys, that's it for this video. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till then, a party up!